Have you ever experienced any issues connected with the fact that uh, your motors were kind of dirty? Either you fell into a sand or something that was pretty gross and we don't want to talk about it anymore anyway? I'm sure all of us did. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to clean your motors and make sure that they stay with you clean, safe, and for the longest time possible. Let's go. Hi, my name is Lexi Jansen, AKA Mayon High, and welcome to FPV24 channel. Before we start, I just want to ask you for a couple of things. One of them being, leave this video a thumbs up to help us make algorithms super happy and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for more reviews, crazy stuff and educational content connected with FPV. Now, I think we're done with this, so let's go to the video. But does cleaning your motors actually make any sense? If you have ever crashed on a beach straight into a sand or things like this, I'm sure that you will agree with me that it's absolutely needed for your motors. Why? The sand getting in your motors can actually stop the spinning or cause some issues with the magnets, such as scratching them from the inside, which may later cause a crash or your drone just basically falling off the sky or destroying the ESC itself. How to start? The best place to start is usually from the beginning. So we want to do a visual inspection of the outer parts of the motor. If magnets are on their place, if there's any significant scratches or dents in the motor and stuff like this. The first and most important thing to do is a friction checkup. What you're gonna do is basically just spin the motors with your hand and compare them to the others. If there's any friction or are they moving the same as the other ones? If there is one or two that are moving a little bit different or you can actually feel some friction, then we're gonna have to do something more. If any of the motors had any friction, what you're gonna do is to disassemble the motor itself to do some inner checkup. This will leave you with the bearing as well as the motor bell, in which you can check if the magnets are correct, if any of them is chipped, or if there is something wrong with the bearings. Maybe it's not dirt, maybe it's something else. Cleaning the motors. What you're gonna need is, firstly, the brush. And I actually got this brush in a DIY store and what you're gonna need is basically any type of a brush that has really stiff hair, so it kind of gets all the sand outside. Worst case scenario, you can put your motor under the water, but just be sure that it's as dry as possible and there is no water on the bearings before you try to plug it in again. Let's say that there is a problem with an actual bearing. How to clean it? You can use an ultrasonic cleaner, which is used for jewelry or glasses and stuff like this if you have one. I personally don't. So other things that you can do is to use a high-speed oil for the motors themselves or something for cleaning the electronics as well. Now, another thing is magnetic sand. I don't know if you have ever experienced this awful thing, but oil, ultrasonic cleaner and brush won't really do you too much good in this situation. And this can get into your bearings as well as the bell. And what you're gonna need for getting rid of it is unfortunately a pair of tweezers. And that means that you're gonna do it all by hand. And it's gonna take a while. I hope that you have found this short list of things to do to keep your motors clean helpful. And if you did, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up to help us make algorithm happy. And also don't forget to subscribe to FPV24 channel for more tips, tricks, reviews, and stuff connected with FPV. That's all I had for you today, and I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.